Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim Tower: The Vertical Empire. In our last video, we built some more offices in this uh, narrow part of the tower, beyond the 61st floor, and went around lowering the rent in terrible offices, as usual. And built a little bit more parking, too. Because that's a thing. Right, well, anyway. I'm gonna go ahead and start lowering the rent on these. I realize we could probably just uh, build that cathedral and be done with it because the population is holding steady at over 15,000. But... I don't know. I don't like seeing a bunch of empty offices. So I want to finish that up. And you know, to make that a bit easier... Okay. Yep. Just turning all the yellow blue. Helps if you click in the right place. If you care about that kind of thing. It is interesting to see the mini-map and how this has turned out, because all the offices that are blue instead of yellow are, I guess we should say, underserved by the elevator system. I'm not really seeing a pattern. Just taking a moment to stare at that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. They do tend to happen in blobs. Which is indicative of some kind of pattern. But it's like, well... What causes a blob? In any particular place. I'm not sure. We're getting there. Hey, at least I'm not, uh, you know, clicking every single thing. Like, oh, gotta click the rent drop down, then gotta click 2000, then gotta click OK. No, we're using the keyboard now. We're using the keyboard. It's faster. Moving the mouse around in this uh, in this VM is challenging. If that uh, wasn't already obvious, nope, didn't mean to click that. Case in point. Though there was no excuse for that, I also just seem to be bad at pressing keys. I don't think it's because it's a VM. I think it's because it's Windows 3.1. doesn't have quite the uh, precision that I'm used to. It feels clunky. But considering the OS was out like, oh gosh, 30 years ago at this point, we'll give it a pass. This is ancient technology. From the dawn of the information age. Yeah, Windows 3.1 was my first Windows OS. I have to specify that because 
Well, those are stairs. Uh, first time I really used a computer. It was a Mac. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> okay. Lovely. Let's get on with it. What do we want to put up here? What kind of fun stuff? Oh, how about some restaurants? So I live in a suburb of Dallas, Texas in the United States, and there's a building downtown called Reunion Tower. A lot of big cities seem to have something like it. Uh, you've got the Space Needle in Seattle, Washington, and Center Point Tower in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. But anyway, uh, Reunion Tower is shaped like a giant microphone. And you can take an elevator to the sphere at the top and walk around an observation deck to see downtown Dallas and the surrounding landscape. There also used to be restaurants up there. There might still be restaurants up there, I really don't know, what with the pandemic and all. But the restaurants would rotate around the center of the tower. Not too fast, of course. They didn't want everyone to throw up from centrifugal force. I'm afraid of heights, and I'm not really into bougie stuff like that anyway, so I've only been there a couple of times. But my point is, lots of people seem to think it's cool to eat at restaurants at the top of towers. So let's give them some. Two, three, four, five. Did I just start over with pub? No, that's fine. Okay, whatever. No, can't do that. We'll just... You... And you and... We'll add a little shopping. Fancy top of the tower retail. Oh yes. Oh yes. With some escalators even. That's how fancy this is. I feel pretty good about that. Oh yeah, how's all this going? Oh, the population is... not stable at 15,000. Did we get move-outs? What's going on? Might have spoken too soon. We might have to blow out those restaurants and stuff. Huh. Well, well, well. Or we could widen this. We could. Because, yeah, we need like 400 more people. Even if we used all this space. At this width, we're getting 60 people per floor. That's 60 times 5, which is 300. That is insufficient. We should widen the tower. Like so. This is the easy way. And we'll add some lobby. Oh, no, they're going to be very unhappy. Never mind, not there. Yeah, that office, uh, they're not going to want to be next to the fast food place. They won't enjoy themselves there. Too noisy. More lobby. Right. That's fast food. Food, same situation. Okay, very good. Probably need to do the other side as well. So where would that be? Not there, not there, there. Uh, there. 
gonna have to skip this one because of the security office, and that's okay. I'm glad they're there. Lobby. Uh, is there room for this? No. Okay. More floor. And again, because security. And keep going. And did I expand the lobby? I did, I kept going. Okay, all right. Oh, made floor. Security. Let's see what that does. We might have to do that again. And that's fine. We might even do something fancy like uh, build here instead of just adding on. I don't know. Let's see what things look like in the... Oh, it's a weekend. Well, they... They got rented. There goes the population back down to 14,600. Okay. We have some work to do. And there it inflates to 15,546. And it's all over the place. Oh my gosh. It was up there at 17,000 for a moment. I don't know what to think of that. Did we have move outs? What's going on? Ah. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just try to get this to be stable. I know we are so close. We are so close, but... I think it would just be nice to have these handled. Seeing all these empty offices is just kind of like... You know, come on, man. Do better. You gonna leave that like that? No. I'll try to make it better. There's a good chance that all the offices we just built along the sides are gonna do the same thing. So we might have to address those as well. But... I think... This is good. Yeah, that looks fine. In fact, we could hit eval. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any horrible offices right now. I mean, it is Monday, so you wouldn't anyway. Well, wait a minute. There's one. I see you hiding back there. I see you hiding back there. There are a few. Some of them are already just very upset. That Monday morning rush, man. Okay. I think it's time. I think it's time. This is pretty much the center. Close enough, right? Right there. Let's do it. Cathedral! What? Cathedral is available only on 100th floor. Okay. How about here, then? There it is! That's a cathedral. I don't know why it has to be a cathedral, specifically. But that's just the way it is. 
because to go from five stars to tower, you need a population of 15,000 plus a cathedral, which we now have. <laughs> so, you know, whenever you're ready, we've got a population of over 18,000. And a cathedral on the 100th floor. We have met the requirements. <sighs> okay. I don't know. Let's, let's see what happens in the morning. As people leave the hotel. Okay. Looks like a few more offices might do this. We can we can handle that. We'll build like uh, five on either side. I don't know. Three, four, five, and two, three, four, five. Oh, 14,000. <laughs> okay, there. There. There it is. They're not going anywhere. So what's... What's the deal? What's the deal? I don't know. Maybe you have to... Retain that population for a certain... Duration. Maybe just reaching it... Is not enough. I don't know. Okay, let's keep building. Oops, not like that. You fool. Let's just keep going. I have to wonder what they think about the elevators. Elevator is far away. Well, I don't think I care. You're just gonna have to deal with that. Oh. Oh, maybe those were people in the party hall or something. Not actual uh, tenants. Hmm. Oh, what? I think that was sound from the movie. Terrible sales. Change the movie. Okay. We'll show a new movie. Waikiki Moon. Let's add parking. Why not? Oh, not like that. Now I have to do a whole extra column of them. Oh, that one cannot be accessed. That's interesting. Yeah, now it can. There. They must be contiguous. Or they are inaccessible. Looks like the recycling centers are doing okay. Come on, where's that, uh, where's that tower rating? It's the weekend. Population is bouncing around. That must be the problem. Okay, well, keep going then. Let's see how things look Monday morning. go. Uh, we had a few tenants leave.
because conditions are terrible. Really, though, uh... Yeah, I'm a bit lost. But we had this trouble getting from four to five stars, so... I think we just need to stick with it, and it'll be okay. But we definitely have a population of 17,382. That does not include the hotels. Not one bit. So, I don't know. But, uh... Okay, if, if, if it means more offices, then that's what it means. We'll just build these four floors all the way out. not all the way out. We'll leave a little room there so that it can kind of gradually taper off at the top. Is that about the same? One, two-ish, three-ish, and a half. One, two, three, uh, one more. Amazing. Okay, well. They're probably really upset about the elevators. Very far away, yeah. Well, I'm not going to do anything about that. I'm not. Unless we expand all the way for these floors and kind of start this whole office chunk uh, layout again. Which I don't want to do. I just want the game to accept my uh, greater than 15,000 population. And give me my tower rating. Yeah, that did not dip below 15,000, so... What's going on? Oh well. And the cathedral is accessible. Yeah, people are there. Look at that. Hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Yeah. There are people attending services here. So... Aha! Congratulations! Your tower has been given a... <clears throat> well... That's kind of anticlimactic, but uh, we know what they're trying to say. Your tower has been given a tower rating, I imagine. Okay. Wow. Welcome to tower. We've even got little cherubs and stuff. Yeah, okay. And there's that. Oh, that's pretty swanky. Tower. Forget about stars. You're a tower now. We did it. Our tower has earned tower rating. It's not necessarily the end of the game. Obviously, we could keep playing. 
I got $51 million. I could rebuild the whole thing. You know, replace all the offices with, uh, hotels or... fast food everywhere. Obviously, we couldn't get rid of, like, housekeeping. Stuff like that. Because you can't bulldoze those, but... Yeah, I mean, once, once you're at this point... What do you want to do? Fill it with condos. Get rid of all these offices, all these angry people. Have a much smaller population. Something more manageable. It's up to you. That's the thing about the Sim games, is that they... They end. Sort of. You can... Kind of reach that point, but... There's nothing that kicks you out of the game or anything. If you want to keep going, you keep on going. Play with the simulated environment that you've created. Yeah, when when I was a kid, uh, I, I never reached tower rating. I don't think I ever got past four stars, frankly. Because I probably, and, and you saw this as I was playing early on, I got really, really bogged down trying to fix the elevators and get it so that people weren't so angry and all this stuff. And yeah, we did a lot of that here. We did. We tried our best. And then eventually I started to throw in the towel and then I really did when I said, look, this is what the internet says to do, so we're going to try it. And I did not have that information as a kid. But I do now, so it's like, all right, if that's as good as it's gonna get, I'm just gonna tolerate that and move on, and not fixate on it. So yeah, I've got a lot of angry people, like that. Very, very angry people. I'm trying to get out of here. But we've uh, learned to accept it. And just build, build, build. Yeah, I mean, I never would have thought of just cramming offices everywhere. Ugh. I was very focused on getting everything perfect and not having empty space, like... You know, this right here? That would have driven me nuts. I would have found some way around that. And that's great. That's a fantastic attention to detail, and good for me, yay. But it was not conducive to, uh... Reaching tower rating, that's for sure. No, it was not. But I also spent a lot of time just staring... ...at what was going on. Like I said, I love the art. It's so vibrant, and the animations are great, just seeing what's going on here. You just watch these sims do their thing. Hear all that money roll in. Go check out the movie theater. Look at all these cars people are parking down here. Name Sims. I did that a lot. I would name a lot of people. I wonder how Bob's doing anyway. There he is. He's working. He's doing okay. I'm glad you're doing okay, Bob. I'm glad you're doing okay. And with that, we've come to the end of this Let's Play of Sim Tower, The Vertical Empire. There is a sequel to this game called Ute Tower, or The Tower 2 in Japan, that was released in November of 1998. Apparently it kept the same general look and feel while also expanding gameplay by adding new features and facilities. Unfortunately, reviews and sales were mediocre, and I don't plan to play it. In any case, even though you could hear the exasperation in my voice during some of the more tedious times, I thoroughly enjoyed building this tower, and it was really cool to finish the game considering I couldn't when I was a kid despite all the effort I put into it. 
I think the lesson there is sometimes you gotta focus on the big picture and let the details work themselves out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.